Hey people, I'm back with another video and today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you all. I was super excited. I found some items that I had been searching for for a little while now and so yeah, I was actually shocked that Dollar Tree had them. So I'm gonna just hop right on into this video. I was wandering down the beauty aisle once again and I found some items that caught my eye. So you guys, I actually found some faux lashes at Dollar Tree. And these are 3D faux mink lashes. Like, what? Look at these beauties. Like, I'm actually really shocked that they had these there. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Oh, you see the see the the um the packaging there? The shift in it, the iridescent. That's really beautiful. But yeah, I was really shocked to find these. Now, these lashes are definitely a lot longer than what I normally would wear, but um, hello, faux lashes, mink one dollar yes i'll take them matter of fact i'll take not only one not only two but i'll take three pairs of them yes thank you very much so um during lockdown i got into just not necessarily doing too much with my makeup well i don't really do too much with my makeup anyway but i got into like a really just like natural look and so um just to kind of jazz myself up a little bit even if i didn't throw on any makeup at all i got into just kind of putting on false lashes and i feel like putting on lashes really just enhances your look without having to do too much a nice lip gloss and some lashes and i feel like you just look really nice and put together and so yeah i got these because i've just been wearing false lashes around the house so yeah happy to have these um the next item i picked up is actually some eyeshadow applicators they come in a pack of 20. i got these to um play around with applying glitter to my nails and so yeah i got this for my um nail art the next thing i picked up is some more glitters you guys i was actually really shocked so i just picked up a second one of these and i also picked up Okay, so these are some new glitters that I found that I was super excited about. These are like fall themed glitters. So they have like that um, deep burgundy looking uh, glitter, the gold, the auburn, that nice spicy orange, um, some more golds. Um, yeah, I was just really excited to find like this color scheme. So I got two of these. I picked up an extra one of these um, just so that my um, supply of this will be good. Oh, I think I found one other color scheme too. Let me see here. Yeah, so I found some pinks, reds, and purples, you guys. I was actually shocked about this too, but look at these. So beautiful. Like, come on, come through Dollar Tree with these beautiful glitters. Like, I'm here for it. Like, I love these. Again, I purchased these for my nail art. So I'll be doing more nail tutorials here. Um, I just really enjoy watching them. And so I figured when I start making them too, I love doing my nails. So yeah, I got these for, particularly for that. While I was still in the craft aisle, I picked up, um, these are some piercing and scoring tool sets. So this is to, I guess, like poke holes and fabric when you're like sewing and knitting and things like that. So I did buy like a mini sewing machine, mainly just to kind of like fix up different like outfits that I might have, or if I have some jeans that maybe get a rip in them or something, I can just quickly repair it. And then also um, I got them so that I could try to do my own alterations. So um, I have a lot of uh, beautiful traditional pieces that my uh, husband got for me and that I've had for a while now and I've kind of outgrown some of them. And so I bought them so that I can kind of alter it so that I can fit them again. So yeah, I bought this to kind of help with some of those, um, you know, different um, sewing projects. I also got a chalk writer. This is in particular to kind of mark the fabric that I'm putting through the sewing machine so I can actually sew in a straight line. Cause I've practiced a few times now and my lines are not straight at all. And so I got this particularly to kind of mark on the fabric so that, um, yeah, it, when it washes, I guess it's, it says it's wet, erasable, mess-free, and dust-free. So I got it so that it'd be easy to mark my fabrics. Next item I picked up, again, didn't really need it, but I was happy to see that they had a variety of different colors. And so I got this so that I could find my shade. <laughs> and it's nice that I can find my shade with something that only costs a dollar. But um, it is these Revla Revlon uh, stick foundations. Um, I got them in the color brown sugar, s'more, and nutmeg and in a previous video i also got it in the color latte so these are the three different shades here i do feel like this shade is probably going to be the right shade for me but it's nice to just kind of have a variety and again i got this so that 
I could put up my makeup, put on my makeup really quickly and do it on the go. So I hope these are decent foundations. I mean, they're at the Dollar Tree, so obviously they didn't, they didn't sell in stores, but I just like the idea of having many foundations. So yeah, Revlon foundation for a buck, you can't beat it. So I got those. And I also picked up, just for the office here, some binder clips, um, you know, just to sort and hold documents and things like that. I also picked up, I actually really, really enjoy this product from Dollar Tree, some bath bombs. I actually only got one of them, but this is so cute. It's like the little rainbow. How adorable is that? So I picked this up and this one is in the scent Treat Me. And so, yeah, I actually use these a lot, a lot, a lot last year. I ran a lot of baths. This helped me out a lot um, during my pregnancy um, so that I could just kind of like relax and any type of aches and pains I had. I just hopped in a warm bath and it normally helped me out a lot. So yeah, these are actually some really good bath bombs from Dollar Tree. If you find them there, I would definitely pick them up. Um, and then the last item I picked up here is some false nails. Not that I need any more, you guys. But again, I'm uh, trying more things with my nails as far as nail art is concerned. And so I just bought some fake nails to practice on. So yeah, these are just some falsies here. Um, artificial nails. It is 100 count. For a buck, sassy and chic, I'll take it. Sassy and chic. And also from sassy and chic, they had some more nails. Again, I don't need any more, but I was excited to see that they had a marble design. That's very different. I've not seen that before, so I'll be giving these nails a try. It looks like I picked up some more makeup, which I just need to stop you guys. Okay. So I picked up, oh, I picked up a lip oil. Okay, yeah. So this was a good purchase. So I picked up, it's in the scent mint. And it's from LA Colors and it's a lip oil. I've been using a lip oil from um, Ulta. I got it for like a birthday gift a few years ago and I actually really like it. It's like very nourishing, it's really thick. And it's like, it just, I don't know, it's kind of like a mask for your lips almost. A hydrating mask in a sense. So the oil, it sits on the top of your lips. It's thick and then it like absorbs in and, and keeps your and keeps your lips um, moist all night. So I, I normally apply this after I do a lip scrub and just let it sit on my lips overnight. So I like the Ulta one. I figured I'd try this one out and see how it worked too. It was only a buck. Um, I also picked up a blush from Dollar Tree. Again, not that I needed it, but wet and wild for a buck, not bad. It's in the color Keep It Peachy. I also picked up a eyeliner. And black is smudge proof LA colors. So I thought this would be a quick way to just line my eyes. And then the last makeup item I picked up is a gel lip liner. And it is in the color Doll in Love again. And it's like this cute little peachy, cute little peachy color here. Um, I actually really like these lip liners. I've gotten this before from Ulta um, from Wet n Wild. Really like them. So I was excited to find that there. And then again for the office, I picked up a receipt book. Um, you know, you can never go wrong with having one of these just in case you have to write a receipt and you you know, you need to make a copy for your customer and for yourself. This was a good find. I also picked up a body oil from Bath and Body Works. This is from Valero. And this is cucumber and aloe. I really, really like these body oils from Dollar Tree. Um, these typically last me about a week and a half of consistent use and they are actually really hydrating. Um, I use them two different ways. I either um, put them on straight out the shower or after I put on lotion or body cream, I seal it in with this. And guys, this is a really great product. If you see it there, pick it up. And the last items that I found, which I was super, super shocked to find, was some silk satin pillowcases you guys like what dollar tree come through with the pillowcases silk okay protect that hair so yeah i got one two three four of these and again i really like to keep these in um the guest bedroom and i got a few for me and a few for the guest bedroom everybody gonna hurt everybody's hair gonna be protecting in this house okay i see here that i got one more item too picked up another lip liner and it is in gone burgundy so yeah a cute little burgundy shade i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday so if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family and as always leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye Woo, filming it is hard with the litter on okay okay